Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and this channel is everything about writing, fun, and petrol headwords. And today, it is also about Q&A with me. And Cedric has a question. Actually, he knows how to properly write the subject. He says, bring in a question to a master. Love it, Cedric. Anyway, apart from other questions, he has a question like, what type of winter gloves, jacket, trousers I do use? And you know what? I have decided that I will share with you everything that I have in my closet in terms of motorbike riding or Canem Spider riding. So I'll share with you all of the jackets, like for the five years I have used, trousers, shoes, actually new shoes, new shoes in the house. And I will share also the gloves, good things and bad things. And I'll try to do it in a really quick way. So guys, enough of this. Let's get started. Before we really start, it would be awesome if you hit that subscribe button and have the notifications on because every time I make a cool video, you will be notified. What would be even more cool if you will go to the martindevlogger.com slash shop. I have just opened the largest European shop for BRP Canem Spider and Riker aftermarket parts. And many of them are coming from US right now. So go to the shop in case you are owner and have a look like what's in there. There is something like 100 new products from La Monster, from PPA, from RLS, from Baharon, from Spider Pops. So have a look, definitely is worth. Now, you know what? Let's go through everything I have here and just a general comment. As you can see, like what I, what I like, what kind of style I like, it's kind of fresh style, more of a urban kind of look. Um, I have developed over five years as a writer and I went through different things basically, but this is how I really like, I'm writing like this very, very often. Um, and even if I go for several days, so not like only like one day rides, but you know what? Let me take you through, through the jackets first or whatever I have used or whatever I'm using. Of course I have, preferred brands and I have started with with this one it's a leather jacket and if you are and it's super dirty if you are really searching for uh, a winter jacket uh, so Cedric uh, this is the the rabbit that I have used it has five years and the first season was quite crazy I wasn't riding with in anything else I was always wearing this thing. It was 40 degrees outside and I was still wearing it. Yeah. So, uh, but what's cool about it is, of course, it's professional motorbike jacket, uh, but it has the wind stopper, which is a great thing. Uh, when there is quite hot outside, you can open it quite easily because it has, you know, some, some openings like this. And what's even more cool is if, if the weather is like, like now around, what's now March, and it's a little bit around five to 10 degrees, you can also wear this vest. It's very nice. And you know, I'm always wearing um, the functional thermo, um, long sleeve shirts and trousers. Long sleeve shirts always, trousers, thermo trousers sometime. But in case it's really cold, I'm wearing this. However, I'm getting rid of this just simply because over time my body has developed to super big whale and I just look ridiculous in that. By the way, guys, question for y'all. Do you know any cool jacket that is not leather, but it looks sporty? It's also to these kind of conditions so I can cope up with, let's say, for spring and autumn rides, but it's not fully like leather and I will still look cool. I would like to hear your suggestions. That would be actually great to help me. Now, the next thing what I went is again, rabbit. And this is really cool jacket. It's a spring and summer, uh, it's a summer, I'm sorry, a jacket. So definitely it needs to be over 20 outside to wear these but you can again open it, it's breathable. Uh, that one is water resistant in case, or water, water resistant, yeah, a little bit, in case you um, have 
uh, this wind stopper right over there. Uh, this, this one, it's of course not, and it's really breathable and I love it. I made, I made a ton of journeys and kilometers with that one. And however, this is my most preferable thing that I'm wearing these days. It's called Trilobit, so the brand uh, that I absolutely like. Uh, I'm not paid by this brand. This hoodie I received for free. I did honest review. I still did honest review about it. I love it. There is only one downside. Hoodie like this is not really good. When you, uh, when there is like, you know, weather that can change to rain or whatever, because you, you cannot really put um, a rain protector on top of it because you have hoodie. However, apart from it, apart from, you know, collecting a lot of books, it's super cool, great looking, professional motor riding, motor riding uh, hoodie with Kevlar inside, and you can have also those protectors that I'm just always, you know, taking apart and taking out. Um, so yeah, and when I'm talking about Trilobit, trousers that I'm wearing, and Trilobit is a Czech brand, they are now all over the world. And there are a lot of resellers, and they are not cheap anymore. They used to be like trousers for 120 euros, which is, I believe, great price with the Kevlar uh, jeans. Uh, they look super cool. These are a little bit longer. I, I bought probably longer than I should. Uh, anyway, these are summer jeans. And what I like is this groin area, like it's fully stretched and super comfortable. Uh, they can breathe, so that's great. You know, they look cool. And again, they have a lot of protectors. I just remove all of them. Uh, actually, guys, these, these I have had for really like five years. And they are still good. And they are those most comfortable jeans I ever going to have and I'm not gonna get rid of them till they completely fell apart. Are you like me? Like, I'm not getting rid of stuff till it's like really, at least something is holding it together. I love them, it's absolutely beautiful. Now for winter, I have these, and they have like, let me, let me quickly show it to you. They have this cool pattern, so you, this, that's something like signature for them. Like this is water resistant. Uh, that they are like, I'm riding them with them when there is, when there are temperatures around two degrees, three degrees, four degrees, all fine. Uh, they're like thick. Uh, again, you can, you can open them if you want. It's not a problem. They are stretched. That's nice. What, but what's additional, uh, it's, you have these, inside parts. So actually this is what protects you against water going to you and wind going to you. And those are the heated things like, like thermal things or whatever. So really cool stuff. These jeans are like more than 200 euros, I believe so. But you know, they will be with me for another, I don't know, a long time. So that's a great thing. Now, here you are. Let's continue with, you know what? Let's continue with shoes. These shoes, <laughs> guys, these shoes has like 60,000 kilometers with me, five years. They are done. They are called TCX and I love them. Again, not paid by them, uh, just honest review. They are super comfortable. I can walk in them. I can ride in them. They are full like motorcycle shoes with this uh, front from steel and protector on your ankle. Really great shoes, water resistant. Uh, yeah, and, and also breathable during the summer days. It was all great, but you know, they're gone. So I have decided to buy new shoes for myself finally. So these are the Alpine Star. Again, unfortunately, I'm not working with any brand. Now, guys, whoever is watching, and if you have a cool brand and you would like to support me, just write me an email. But I think they look absolutely cool. So that's my new style, kind of. And I can tell you, these are the water resistant um, with steel uh, or iron front. 
However, they do not have really a protector around your um, ankles. So that's something I will be missing, but that's all fine. And I had to stay with T6. Um, so these are like only shoes for super sunny day and super summer day, uh, all breathable and, you know, super easy to put them on. So that's a great add-on for this riding season. I love them. Uh, you know, the story with the shoes and me is I don't buy shoes by what I like really like, like color combination is not an option for me. I buy shoes like if they have available the, the size I wear, I'm wearing 15 US. So it's not really easy always to buy whatever I like. So I was just super happy to have these, have those. Now, in terms of gloves, very quickly, winter gloves, definitely. Uh, Revit, uh, Gore-Tex gloves, five years with me. And I don't know, they've been through a lot. So many uh, days when the, when the sky just fell down on me and they've been coping with me or with the weather. Absolutely great and super comfortable. Also good for a winter. They're a little bit done, but it's all fine. Uh, the next option that I absolutely do love were these uh, Dainese and the brand or the module it's called X-Run, oh yeah. Boy, how I love these gloves. They've been absolutely awesome. They are super short gloves, like something like street ride. Uh, well, yeah, sometimes I'm like quite often I'm riding like only in a t-shirt. Yeah, I'm a little bit dummy, but I like to, you know, take some thumb bathing, you know. However, what was bad and they didn't cope really long with me, maybe one year only or one and a half. It's there is no leather on the bottom and they've been done quite quite fast, you know. So I went for a new Dainese with a little bit like leather and stuff. These are quite quite good and very breathable. And again, short, cool looking, you know, orange and style of my bike, style of me. I absolutely do love it. Now the last are these. These are the health. I bought them, I rode with them quite a long time. Uh, for quite a long time. However, have a look. You know, oh, geez. Okay, they are all breathable. If you if you ride like this, the air vents are kind of closed. If you ride like this, if you stretch your uh, your hands, they can breathe a little bit better. They are great. They are durable. They are just too long, you know. And I don't like this style anymore. So not for me anymore basically guys this is pretty much it what i have in case you have more questions go to the martinthevlogger.com slash forum there is a q a with me ask there any question and i will try to come with a video reply because i think it's quite cool and can help uh, more people please give me the tip about the jacket or whatever that looks cool it's practical looks great looks cool looks awesome guys thank you very much for watching subscribe, hit the notification, visit the shop, become Patreon. That's a new thing I have introduced. And remember, dress really nicely and always have fun.